Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel today, 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 say today, today we're doing something a little different you guys, we are not having a mukbang and we're not cooking, but we are in the kitchen, so if it's your first time here, welcome to Carter's Eat, today, 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 say today, today I'm going to share with you, may or may not help you, I am a cooking channel slash mukbang channel. But I shared with you guys the other day a little bit about my YouTube journey and why I started. So I want that. I think many of you already know that people make money on YouTube. Um, I know you've seen the many success stories in the foodie community that have been making money. But there's the garden community. There's the tech community. There's tons of different niches on YouTube. And we'll talk more about that. Um, I happen to be in the food community, but I'm also a mom and a caretaker. I wanted to share with you, in case you're over 40 or over 50, why the time is now for you to start your channel. Why the time is now? So if that interests you and you think you'd like to earn some extra money for retirement, have a niche, let me share some things with you today that you feel more confident about the decision you've been thinking about as it pertains to starting a YouTube channel, even if you're over 40 or 50. You've seen the success stories. There's B Love, there's AB Cooking and Grilling, there's In the Kitchen with Gina Young, there's um, Beautiful YouTube Creations, there's The Garden Community, there's um, Natasha's Kitchen. There's tons of success stories in the foodie community of people who have earned no longer extra income but it's their primary 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 source of income isn't that great so and then you might say well isn't the market saturated is there enough room why would anybody want to listen to somebody over 40 or 50 the number one consumer is the millennials the 20 and 30 year olds those that keep the device in their hand but luckily and fortunately, over 40 and over 50 have the opportunity to share what you know that they might not know. We have more life experiences. You can share with them how we made it to this point and some of the things we've learned along the way. So if you happen to be a fitness guru, plus size and know how to do yoga, um, a foodie and know how to be fit, or how to make this recipe healthy, or how to make this pot roast with less fat. Those are things that you can share on this platform. Also sewing, crocheting, gardening, anything that you know that we may not know. And then you say, well, isn't it oversaturated? There's so many people already sharing what they know on YouTube. Remember, it's called YouTube. That means they want to see your face. They want to see you because you add a unique perspective and there's enough room on YouTube for everyone. Isn't that amazing? Internet for a while. What is your superpower? What do you know that somebody else can benefit from? Now like I told you in the last video I had my own challenges being over 40 having a child at 44 and then being my career shifted. They let me go. So I had to think, where can I use, and what do I know, and where can I add value? Luckily, if you go see that video, you'll hear more about my story and how I've made room for myself here on YouTube. We have three different channels. Mr. Do It, Do It Now is my husband's cooking channel. Healthy Soul Food Options for Diabetics. Isn't that amazing? Here on Carter's Eat, I'm a fit foodie mom, over 40, a mature mom, but I do mukbangs and we also cook in the kitchen. We happen to come out with a spice pie. My mommy Moments channel called Mrs. Carter. Because I, I have so much to say, but we want to make sure we're specific in where we say it, right? Because I don't want to overwhelm you here, even though I already have. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to make sure I got on camera and said, today I'm doing something different. It's not a mukbang. And I so with that being said, you're like, well, wh why would they want to hear from me? I want to hear from you. Whatever you know, that's called the gift of God. He gives each of us our own individual gift. And we can only value by learning each person's gift. Now some people might not do it to share a gift, might not do it to share what they know. 
They may not even have a niche. Sometimes I get on, I think the first two years <laughs> of YouTube was me getting on camera just to share with you the struggles of working and being a mother. And that was on Carter's Eve. It was just about my faith walk, um, how I used God in every experience, and how we lost a job, took two years off, was on YouTube, and then had to go back to work, and now I'm a work from home mom. So all that's happened on this channel. But my first two years were two hours a day having conversations with my subscribers and family members, just sharing my everyday trials and then talking together people who were feeling the same way. They had a faith wall, they were home, they wanted to be encouraged, they encouraged me. Isn't that awesome? So there's enough room for everybody. I have a moment in the kitchen by myself in the house. We are multi-generational households. So my parents live with us. So I'm a caretaker, and then I have a nine-year-old and a 12-year-old and a husband. The ways that you can earn money on YouTube. Well, how, Miss Lisa? You know, I'm scared, I'm shy, I stutter, I'm not comfortable in front of the camera. You can do an overhead shot of you sewing. You can do an overhead shot of you and your plants. And, I, and I'll share a couple of testimonies today, and that's, that's why I wanted to make sure you guys heard this, because there are so many success stories. Um, one of my girlfriends started her channel as a, as a plants channel. She just showcased her plants. And then a couple of her church members or family members reminded her that they once had a restaurant. Can you make us a cake and make it on your channel? Another friend of mine, she started telling stories at the beginning of her videos and then cooking at the end because people wanted to hear her stories. See, sharing your story adds value about where you are in your life. So I just want to make sure you heard that before you can discredit yourself and say, no one wants to hear what I have to say or I'm not comfortable in front of the camera. And again, I used to do this two hours a day, five days a week. And now that I work from home, I can no longer do these sit down videos live and I'm very nervous doing it pre-recorded. So again, if you enjoyed today's content so far, please be sure to thumbs up the channel. And again, if you're new, be sure to go through our playlist and see all our great recipes. My name is Lisa. I'm a mature mom at 40 and 44, and I'm just sharing my YouTube journey and why I believe if you're over 40 or 50, you need to start a YouTube channel now. And specifically because there is room left just for you. So start today. You have the opportunity to earn money on your channel through support from Google who places ads in your video periodically and you get to also place them, but that's another day. But they'll place ads on your video if you've earned 4,000 watch hours and you have 1,000 subscribers. 4,000 watch hours accumulates over time through your long form content, your vertical shorts, and more. But the first thing you have to understand is just starting. But a lot of people are camera shy. Like I said, a lot of people have inabilities and gifts that don't allow them or want them to be on camera. But if you don't want to be on camera, again, like I said, overhead shots where you're just showcasing your hands. You can even do coloring books because it's very satisfying. You can show up. There's a conglomerate. We'll find out your superpower. You know your superpower and we'll discuss that more. But even with those ads that get placed in your video, which allow you to earn revenue that come back to your account, you also have an opportunity to earn from your viewers and subscribers and fans that enjoy your content by memberships, uh, subscriptions, there's a membership join button, they can make you cash apps, and they can do um, um, super chats in your video or in your live. And if you don't know what a live is, what you're watching now is a pre-recording, but then there's an option for YouTubers to also go live and interact with their supporters, fans, in real time. So a lot of people come watch me cook live, which can be more entertaining than even a pre-recording because we have the option to edit, right? But those are the ways you can earn money from your supporters. Now, if you're taking YouTube serious and you, consider, you want to consider this a business, and some people do it as a hobby because they want to showcase what they do. Some people do it as a business and they want to earn revenue. That is why I started. I wanted to earn, it, earn revenue. I needed 
to be at home. I needed to not work a nine to five. We're not gonna talk about that in this video. But I've had to go back to work. And since I'm working from home, I now no longer have time to make content. So I'm having to do five videos on the weekend. No problem. Luckily, no one's home right now. So I have just about 20 minutes to share this critical information with anyone that's over 40 or 50 that's thinking, I got some time. No, but then there's a lot of moms that don't have time. And my, my situation is very unique. So I'm still carving out who my audience is. And that's probably why I'm coming to you today to say, don't give up on yourself. They'll find you. Don't give up on yourself before you even start it. They will find you as a mom, over 50, work from home, cook, plus size. There's just a multitude of things that I could be in, but I'm a foodie. We cook and we eat. I'm a mom, it's hard to find time. Is the mom your story? Is the caretaking your story? Is the food your story? I think my story is that I took a chance on myself and said I can start a YouTube channel. And that's the story. And that's what I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it. And I started at 49. And I've been doing it, I guess you could say four years. Three and a half, I think it'll be four years this December. All right, we got that, everybody's got that. Now you wanna know what's your superpower? What are you good at? No, not what you're good at. What do people come to you for? What do your family members know you best for? Is it your pie? Is it your crochet? Is it your, um, you paint shoes? Is it cause you dress so nice? These fashion gurus out here are making it big with what I wear in a day. Could be your Sunday outfit. There's a lady on TikTok. They told her they loved her cooking as much as her Sunday best. She's come over to YouTube and now she's cooking. And honey, every view is over 10,000. And then I, I hope someone has coached her on the back office on how to make sure we set up certain things. But we'll talk about that another day, which is the monetization part and getting your watch hours, knowing that going live adds more value because they want to see you. That your life experiences are what, what adds value to our experience on YouTube because everyone has had different life experiences. It's a business such as mine. Clearly define your goals. Understand exactly when you're going to upload, how often, and keep in mind the more you upload, the faster your channel grows. Be intentional, be succinct, and have a thing, okay? And if you do step off script, such as I'm doing today, make sure you add that part at the beginning. We're doing a little something different today, and thank you for sitting with me and chit-chatting. You begin to say, well, and then you, you post your first two videos, and it's just about your everyday life or whatever your superpower is, right? And then in the comments, they may say something like, hey, can you teach me more about, or more about, that's where you grow from. You're getting most of your fuel from the comments. Um, you also want to use your Google search engine to, to help you with your titles or find out what you should be talking about as it regards to that niche. So there's tons of tools out there on how to grow your YouTube channel, but also how to start your YouTube channel. But what I want to implore you to do today is start your YouTube channel. <laughs> Why? I'm telling you, it is the most satisfying uh, digital docu-series on your life and you get to watch yourself grow, change, mature, uh, cry. It's a diary. And I try to tell my kids, still keep your diary. You know, write in your diary. Write about your first time you went to Carolines. Write about the first day of fourth grade. And I'm so honored that I got to see myself go through the blues, do Instacart, go back to work, be out of work, and watch all these things happen on my YouTube channel, all of our family vlogs, to the beach, on a cruise, the places we've gone to see the kids grow. So it becomes an amazing, amazing digital docu-series on your life that you get to share with all your family members. If they want to know what you've been up to, just tell them to go to your YouTube channel. And you get to earn a dime while they come and watch your content, right? Tell them don't skip the ad. So we just talked about earning the, earning, earning the dime 
Yeah, when they when they're watching your digital docu series or your distant cousin in California wants to know how big the kids are now, have them go watch your channel. Go say go go check out what we did. We went on we went on a carnival cruise. You can see the whole thing. We went to Mexico, but but AB cooking and grilling and his wife's channel took us to Alaska. It I felt like I was there. This is our experience. You too. Um. If you want to do it to earn money, make sure you dig deep and say, what can I get? Whether it be an Excel spreadsheet, whether it be the labels. I buy these labels from an Etsy designer. She has the template. She's making money while she sleeps. I'm not the, probably the only one that buys that design, but she's placed it on Etsy and it continues to sell itself if you can design something in your cannabis studio. If you have an ebook that you think would be of service to somebody on how to do your monthly billing or how to do Excel spreadsheets or how to do your um, budget, make it available. I happen to have a spice blend, low sodium, multi purpose, all purpose seasoning that is the rave. And that's for your holiday needs. We got, and that's uh, one of the things I want to make sure we dig deep on and say, don't get ready stay ready now we knew this when we started we wanted to have a seafood sauce and we wanted to have a seasoning and my husband is just an avid cook and has been since we got married 12 13 years ago so it came to me lisa you've got the personality and the love and the joy for people make sure you share what author's doing but remind the people that there's enough room for everybody thank you jesus right and mostly I do share about my love of the Lord, but today I just want to remind anybody that's over 40 or 50 that's just feeling like they want to talk to somebody. They need to, be, they have something to say, even if it's a testimony about what's happened in your home or in your family or anything that God's placed on your heart, do it. Caretakers and busy moms, your Your thoughts, your talents, your testimonies, and your trials matter too. They may help somebody else know how to deal with the season they're in. It can be very daunting, very overwhelming, and you may feel like you just need to talk to someone. Let me share with you. This is so therapeutic, and it all gets real when you cry on camera. <laughs> so as a caretaker and a mom, I just encourage you to find your outlet because you may not be able to get to your therapy session. But let talking to yourself and learning how to talk to yourself be the motivation you need to come out of whatever you're going through. Some call it depression. Some call it I'm lost. Some call it I'm lonely. Some call it I'm gifted. Some say, I got a story to tell. There are people making money on YouTube. And if you need just a little extra, or you don't need enough money, just let it be what it needs to be for you, an outlet. It can be a blessing if you let it. But start right now. God bless you. Like, comment, and share. My name is Lisa. I call y'all. And see how he rewards you. And I'm telling you, this thing kept popping up in my feed. And I said, I, 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 they may not care, but I got to tell it. Okay, I got to get this out. So thank you for listening today. And if you start, come back and leave a comment. And I'll come over there and subscribe. That's number one. Spread yourself all out. Go meet as many people as you can everywhere. Because the love is real on YouTube. The friends you meet are, are just... The support is so encouraging. And in today's world, who doesn't need encouragement? And don't let any political divide keep us apart. Love is real. Love is kind. And if you felt anything or felt moved by today's video or feel like you may be more encouraged to go ahead and start because you got something you want to say about anything, 
or you got something you want to show, go ahead. The first thing you do is grab your phone. Get under a kitchen light or get under a bedroom light. Stand there and say, my name is George. I just felt like I needed to start a channel today. I'm a dad. I like to hunt. I got tons of dogs. I want y'all to meet them. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I've got so many hunting friends and fishing friends and wood carving friends. I find it all interesting because we're never too old to learn. And over 40 and 50, we should never be too old. Not, we're not too old to teach. You got that? You've got, you have an experience that we need to hear about and the younger generation may get value from it. I'm here to tell you, well, you'll have to go hear my other story, but I've had some career challenges. I've had a huge career, a concierge, uh, a museum director. There's so much I can teach you and tell you. There's no, you just have to keep going. But one thing I've done along the way is I've always helped somebody, encouraged somebody to dig deep, believe in themselves, keep going, and trust God. And with that, get your spice blend. Information's in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you got anything from today's video again and you're going to start, leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lisa and welcome to Carter Z and Mr. Do It, Do It Now.